With so many new platforms, software and technology coming along, which one do you think is the best when it comes to recovering blurry photos or extremely blurry photos? Well, that's what we're going to try to find in today's video. We have three examples. For the first one, we have an old vintage photo, which is absolutely noisy, absolutely blurry. We'll see if we can recover it. For the second example, we have a photo where most of them are in focus except for this person and maybe this person. So we'll try to find if we can bring him back to focus. And for the third example, we have an image where we have not completely lost the details, but it is still blurry. We'll see if we can get the absolute details back. So without any further ado, let's get started. By popular demand, the first tool that we're going to be testing is Topaz Photo AI. Let's drag and drop our photo right in here and automatically it upscales it, does everything. And right now it doesn't seem much of an improvement. Let us check recover face. Oh, it's already checked. Oh, wow. I was not expecting that. That is pretty darn good. However, there's a noise line right there. Noise is not gone from around the face. So let us turn on remove noise. And we can open this up and choose the type of noise that we are trying to remove. As you can see, there is noise still left. So I'm going to change it to strong. And let's see what it does. It takes a while and overall, it did a pretty amazing job. Now, the great part about Topaz Photo AI is that it's offline. By the way, you can try it for free. Check the link in description to get a trial version. And you have controls for everything like recovering original details. Let's see what it does. It takes a while to process and it does a pretty amazing job. And I'm sure if you play with it, you can even create a better result. Now, the only problem with this one is that it messes up the eye for this particular image only. Now for this particular image, I did not want to confuse the AI. So I cropped it just to keep this person. So let's drag it and drop it inside of Topaz Photo AI. Let's see if we can get it back with the default settings. And no, we don't. So we need to turn on probably recover faces. Let's turn that on. And it does a pretty amazing job. Look at the results. Take a look at the before and after. Take a look at the eyes. It is just a completely different universe. And not just his face. Have a look at the shirt right here, the buttons and the crease, it's recovered too. Right here, you cannot even see the buttons. So that's hell of an improvement. Time for our third image. And just as I drop it, oh my gosh, look at the details. It is crazy. It even brought the peach furs back. Have a look right here. Pretty good. Now I feel that it is too detailed. So we can decrease the strength from here slightly. What I like is that it also got the details back in the clothes and the jewelry as well. So far, I'm super impressed with Topaz Photo AI. For the next tool, let us try another popular one, Remini. So let's drag and drop our photo. This is the one. Let's see what it does. Whoa, it did a pretty amazing job. So here's the before and here is the after. Not bad, not bad. But then again, it did mess up slightly here. We don't have that level of control that we had in Topaz Photo AI. Also, this is online and you do have certain limitations. I subscribe to this plan just for this video, which is $7 a week and only gives you 20 photo limitation. You can upgrade if you want. It gives you unlimited photo enhancements for $10 a week. And here's the worst part. If I try to download and export it as a PNG or a TIFF, you cannot do it. You need to have a business subscription for it to do it, which is insane anyway. But the insane thing about Remini is that it gets the eye much better than Topaz. So here's the before and here is the after. With the Topaz, it was not as good. We'll compare all of them later. Remini was also able to recover this out of focus face incredibly perfectly. Just have a look at the details. Have a look at the skin texture. This is so darn good. However, it does leave some patterns here and there. You need to be careful of that. But apart from that, this is just insane. Here's the before, here's the after. It did leave out that area. So there are flaws here and there. If you have a look at the other parts of the image, like this button right here, here's the before, here's the after. Not so much of an improvement, which we did see in Topaz Photo AI. And for this photo as well, it did a pretty incredible job with the face. Just have a look at the details. I cannot even believe it. Here's the before, here's the after. But for the rest of the areas, like her clothes and jewelry, there is no improvement. Even at the top, have a look at the jewelry right here, before, after, it actually makes it worse. The next one we're gonna try is Photor. They have a tool for unblurring image. Let's see what it does. Again, this is also a credit-based platform. They may give you some free stuff. I'll link the details in the description, but have a look at the results. It's pretty darn good. Now it did blur out these areas a lot, but just have a look at the face. The eyes are the best 
with this one. Even better than Remini, I think. And just have a look at the hair. They are so detailed. Now, it didn't get all the hair back in, but still, it's really good. Thankfully, you don't have the restriction here that you cannot download as a PNG. So let's do that. For the second image, it added some teeth in here, which is crazy. Now, of course, this is not acceptable. Here's the before. Here's the after. It is changing the person quite a bit. But here's a positive thing. It is not leaving out that area just like Remini did. So each one of these programs have their own pros and cons. Now here as well, it created that teeth. What I do appreciate with Photor though, that they don't charge credits for face unblur. They only charge it for AI generation and stuff. So I think you can do it as much as you want. I'm not sure you need to check that. I've linked the details in the description. Let's download it for comparison later. Now Luminar Neo has been doing a lot of stuff lately and it's a great program to easily edit your photos. It also came up with Super Sharp and Noiseless recently. So let's see if it works on this one. Let's try Super Sharp first and the middle right here. Well, it doesn't improve it. Here's the before. Here's the after. That's weird. Let's try high and check face enhancer. Does it do anything? Here you have an animation going on. Let's see. That is quite better. Here's the before. Here's the after. But then again, not as close to what we were used to before. On top of that, you can also try noiseless. And we're going to choose middle since it advises middle. Or you can also try high. Let's see what it does. So here is the before. Here's the after overall. Well, not much of an improvement. Let's reverse the order of applying noiseless and super sharp because if you go to edit, there is an order to it. All right. So let's click on actions and revert to original. There you go. Noiseless first, middle. Let's see what it does. Not much. High. It doesn't denoise as such. Let's decrease the details and the sharpness. And here, my friend, is the before. And here's the after. A little bit of it is gone. Then try super sharp. High right here and face enhancer. Well, this is what we get. The hair does look like bad Thai noodles. Even with this one and the face enhancer, I gotta say, this is super fast, but the quality, this is looks like a beer maybe. And look at the face right here. That's just insane. This is funny. Let's not even consider Luminar for the main comparison. The next program we are trying is On One No Noise AI. Let's drag and drop our photo here. And it already gives you a before and after. Here's the before, here's the after. No improvement at all. You can choose Stack Sharp AI. Let's see what it does. And you can play with the settings. And even then, Here's the before, here's the after. This is crap. Let's apply both by clicking on this. And again, um, there is not much of an improvement. You can try enhance detail here. See what it does? Whoa. Micro sharpening maybe? I don't know. This is not working. Let's not even consider this one. The last tool is a funny surprise. And that is, guess what? Drum roll, please. Canva. And by the way, I am a free user. It is asking me to get Canva Pro. Anyway, so all you have to do is to go to apps right here. Inside of apps, you'll find something like Enhancer. You can also search it if you want and just get the app. There are other apps too. Once you get the app, you'll see it right here. Choose the file by clicking here. I'm going to go with this one again. Click on open and you can turn on enhance face and enhance the image. Now all this while, do keep in mind, I am a free user. I didn't even sign up for a trial version or anything. And there you go. It's done. Let's add it to our design to take a look at it. Just take a look at the lips and the nose and the eyes are also moderately good. I have to say I'm impressed. And by the way, it also says that the image has been upscaled by 475%. Even for this image as well, it did a pretty standard amazing job. Now it did mess up the jewelry at the top. If you scroll down, the details on the clothes are also not enhanced. The hands are okay here, not so okay right here. Even for this one, it recovered the face really, really well. But it added that slight teeth sketch on top of the lips. But apart from that, this is good too. Now it is time for us to compare it all. And for obvious reasons, we are not going to include On One and Luminar Neo because they were not even close to what we were expecting. Anyway, so I brought all the images in Photoshop and all are of separate sizes. By the way, I highly recommend that you try our Pixinperfect compositing plugin. It has some valuable free features like this one. So if you open the Pixinperfect compositing plugin and select all the layers by selecting the first one, holding the shift key, selecting the last one and click on adapt to selection, everything fits to the canvas or whatever selection you make. For example, you make a selection like this Click on adapt to selection. There you go. It fits to that selection. And when you don't have a selection and you click on it, as you guessed it right, it fits to the canvas. Let's compare.
So here's the original one, absolutely beaten down, completely blurred, lots of noise. On top of it, we have Topaz. Well, that's an improvement, but have a look at the eyes. They're not as good. Lips are great, nose is great. And to compete with this, we have Canva. Whoa, this is good. Let's compare it with the original one. Here's the before, here's the after. It did maintain the face structure. And have a look at the shirt area. It kind of didn't recover it well, but if you just look at the face, it did a pretty good job. Also, if you compare it with Topaz for the hair area as well, it did a better job. Have a look at the hair areas. So here's Topaz and here's Canva. Not to say that Topaz is bad. On top, we have Fotor. Whoa. Now, this is a different style, I have to say. Have a look at the eyes. I think they're even better than Canva if you just have a look at the eyes. If you have a look at the hair, Here's the before, here's the after. They're just different and it did miss out this area. Canva, Fotor, and even Canva missed out this area. So yeah, what about Topaz? They missed out that area as well. Now let's see what Remini does. Remini is just good for the face, so let's try it. So here's the original one. Here's Remini. Uh, what do you think? I have mixed feelings. Bad thigh noodles for the hair and the rest of the areas are not as good. So it's hard to judge. So far, if you have to decide which one is the overall best, I'll let you be the judge. So again, here is the original one. On top, we have Topaz. On top, we have Canva. On top, we have Fotor. On top, we have Remini. By the way, if you do want to compare it to yourself, I'll leave a link to this PSD in the description so you can pixel peep it all you want. Now we have an image which is more reasonable. The details are not completely lost and there are other details like the jewelry and the clothes to recover as well. So here's the original one. On top we have Canva. The face changes a bit. So it doesn't look like the same person. But then again, it is an improvement. We have to give it credit. Also, the jewelry is messed up. Here's the before. Here's the after. This is not the jewelry she wore. And have a look right here as well. Here's the before. Here's the after. Not much of an improvement. Also, if you have a look at the hand before, after, no improvement whatsoever here. Maybe a little bit. What about this area? It kind of messes this up. There's a line. Canva is okay. Let's try Fotar. So there it is. Well, it creates that teeth right there. But apart from that, if you compare it with Canva, Here's the before, here's the after. It also leaves out that weird area in the eye. If you compare it with the original, here's the before, here's the after. The person changes a bit too in this case. There is no improvement here as well. No improvement there. And of course, if you have a look at the jewelry and the clothes as well, there is no improvement. So now on top, let us try Remini. And oh my gosh, have a look at the face. There is so darn much detail. If you compare it with the original one, Here's the before, here's the after. In this case, for this image, it doesn't change the person much. However, it leaves out this pattern all around the image. But apart from that, it is pretty amazing. Only when it comes to the face area. But if you have a look at the other areas like the jewelry and the clothes, it messes it up. On top, finally, we have Topaz. Now, the improvement on the face may not be as good as Remini, but I have to tell you, this looks more natural. And there is improvement all throughout the image. Even if you have a look at the clothes, here's the before. By the way, this one is Remini. So here's the before and here is the after. There is darn much improvement. Before, after, that's a hell lot of an improvement. Even if you have a look at the jewelry, here's the before, here's the after. It doesn't damage it. Also, if you have a look at the hair, before, after, it does a pretty amazing job. So overall, Topaz is killing it. Here's the before. Here's the after. I recommend that you try out the trial version. Again, I'll leave a link to everything in the description so you can try out everything. Also, what most of these tools miss is have a look at the peach furs right here. Only Topaz recovers that. If you have a look at Remini, it removes it. Fotar removes it. Canva removes it. But only and only Topaz. It just looks like a professional tool. Let's compare it all. Here's the original one. Canva. Fotar, Remini, and Topaz. Topaz just kills it. Overall image, overall, it is the best for this one. Now it is time for us to uncover this photo. So here's Canva. It does a good job overall. 
but again it messes up this area also it doesn't do any improvements on the button so here's the before here's the after it is almost the same thing now here is photar it adds that teeth right there maybe changes the person a little bit there is no improvement here let's try remini i have to say remini with skin texture and the eyes especially does a good job but then it leaves out this area it leaves that weird pattern all throughout the image and also of course there is no improvement in these areas as well time for topaz so there is topaz now it may not be the best but it feels like it is the best overall may not be as detailed as remini may not be as detailed as photor but and both of them change the person but with topaz overall if you have a look at the hair if you have a look at this area if you have a look at the buttons here there are some discrepancies here and there but there are lots of sliders to help you through it and it's offline you don't have to worry about anything so that's all the comparison for all of these platforms which one do you think is the best one i recommend that you download all of these psds i've made them available download them with the links in description and pixel peep do whatever you want and just share which one do you think was the best by the way if you want to have a little more fun here's the photor one we can even color this in photoshop let's go to filter neural filters and here just check color wise and there you go colored so that's it for the comparison for the best software to fix <laughs> blurry photos if you ask me it is hard for me to decide some softwares and tools do a better job in some areas while others do a good job in other areas so we can always mix and match we can always composite those images maybe just keep the eyes from photor keep the rest of the areas from topaz maybe keep the clothes from topaz try something with canva keep the hair from canva you can do stuff like that or you can just have one go to so if you ask me my go to tool is topaz and then if it cannot do certain areas like the face i would try photor so that's all for this video i hope it helped and if it did make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss any other future tips tricks or tutorials i would like to take this moment to thank all of these nice and amazing people for supporting this channel on patreon and helping keep pixel perfect free for everybody forever thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next until then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating we're up here